my marshmallow12.com and this is part 3 of my profile series tutorials and in this video I'm going to show you how to echo or display users data from the database but first well from this we got from last uh, time we clicked the logout button and such just left it there um, so we're just going to display some of the stuff what's in the database uh, but first what I'm going to do is add um, two more fields or rows to this uh, two or more probably so let's go to structure and if we just go to add one column um, actually add two columns at the end um, first one is going to be country we're going to actually put a country into this varchar um, default will have as and A again. Um, so we've got country and we'll put city for now. Um, so once again, varchar and N A as default. Save that. Oops. Length. Um, right. Okay. So country will do as say fifty, and city will do fifty as well. Save that. So we get something along the lines of that, country and city added on to the end. What I'm not going to do actually is just um, take away the capitals of them. So just like that. Right, so we've got something like that. So what I'm going to do is just echo some of this stuff out. Um, so let's just go into Dreamweaver and here's our page. So now we need to get some stuff from the database. So what I'm going to do is actually create a new for file and call this functions um, and then in functions we're going to create a function well first of all we need to require the dbc.php okay and then we're going to create a function called get users data and we're going to pass it an ID okay so in here now we can basically just go query equals my scroll underscore query select all from users where ID equals the ID that was passed um, right, so now we can go while row, row is equal to my HCON score fetch so sort of array. Put the query in there. Alright, and now we can get these stuff from the database that we want. Um, but first before we do that, so underneath the query or above the query, wherever you want to do it, we're going to create an array to store the data in. So then we can return the array back through the function so we can use it. Um, so now we can go array equals, yeah, actually array. I do we need to give it a name associative array in this equals row ID and then we can copy this basically down for how many we've got so if we go to the database we have one two three well we don't need the password as such um, I'll bring it through but we don't need it just yet so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we just rename these to what we need. So if I just bring that like this, so we can see it on both sides. And then we just rename these to username, username, um, password, first name. 
last name, for what was it, profile, ext, About me, age, country, and city, and then just copy and paste them all into this side. Okay. It's a bit bigger now, so we can go back to normal. Right, so now that we've got everything and put it into an array, what we need to do now is return this array. So you just simply go return array. Simple as that. Save this. And if we come up here and just go to require um hang on a minute. Yeah, require functions.php we'll be able to use this this function in here so now we can say so now we can put in here so if is set we can then say users data equals get users data and it asks and it should ask us did I spell that right get users data check this right okay so if we just say bring this down a bit so we can see what we're working with um, let's just make it a bit more so if we move these actually if we, yeah if we move them in a bit just like that move that in Move that in just like that. And then we can put users data equals get users data. And you see it's asking us to input an ID. So we can use the session. Well actually it's a session username. So what we actually need to do now is create another function to get the ID from the session username. So if we do another function here called get ID and we pass it the username so we can basically just go through all this again so if we take this query but select ID from users where user name equals the username that was passed Alright, so then we can basically just go to, um, we can basically just return within this, because we only, you should only return one, so return row um, ID, okay, we should be good with that, um, so now we can basically say, so we'll say we've got this, and then we can put get ID in here, yeah, and then we just pass it to the session username. That's why it's easier to put the ID in a session and not the username, as it's more unique as well. Um, an ID, so but that should still work. And then we can basically just say if we just test it out on this first name, if we just put some PHP tags here. And then say echo users data first name and refresh. Oops, and we get a lot of errors. Let me just see what I've done wrong here. Right, um, let's see. This username might have to go in a string as it's not an integer so if we just concatenate that into a string instead um, alright so it gets rid of that undefined variable row 
line 30. Line 30, undefined variable row. Okay, so that is actually. Uh, and the same with all these, it's just. Ah. Uh, right, so we should hopefully be good. Refresh. There we go, and we've got the first name printed out right there. So now what we want to do is the last name. So we can just do echo. If we just concatenate a space, then concatenate uses data last name, and then concatenate like that, and then profile like that and then we can get rid of that there right so let's see what we get for that there we go that's worked out fine profile picture will do some time and about me um, so about me it's basically all the same you just echo out um, so if we keep about me if we put put it in bold and um, maybe underline this break about me and then PHP okay so hopefully we should get, yeah, something like that. It's not exactly perfect yet, but you get the idea and it's being echoed out onto the page. Um, so age, etc. So if we do, let's have a quick check of there. Basically what we've got, I don't want that one, that one. Um, age, country and city, left, right. So if we do age, Age break up that. Take the last one off just for now. Okay, so we've got most of the stuff onto the page now. We just need to do the upload for the profile and maybe add some more stuff and you know position these in a different spot to make it look a bit more neater and more attractive so this was basically just a tutorial on how to get basic um, data to be shown on the page from the database so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time